What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up? Classics, Classics Barber Company. Classics, Classics Barber Company. We have a special treat for you. We're going to do a full tutorial. We have a full night tutorial. Full night tutorial. I got mine for you today. Listen, it's going to be a good one. We got Rod. You've seen him on my page many occasions. You've seen him many times. I just like cutting and showing y'all his haircut. But we got him, and I'm going to walk you through it all. Got a lot going on. Listen, it's going to go from the time that I started chopping his video up to a phone call that I got to the full length haircut, and I'm going to explain that to you on and so forth. Thank you for tuning in. This is Classics Barber and Company. A1 since day one. I'm glad y'all tuned in. Stay locked in. Thank you. D'Angelo, D'Angelo. Yes, sir. Working on some music? Uh, no, I'm chopping up a video. Oh, okay, okay. I'm chopping up a little. And we're back. All right, YouTube. This is Classics Barber and Company. Make sure you follow and like and subscribe. Him. You'll see it right at the top for Instagram. And the first thing we do is comb the hair. Remember, combing is controlling. You're just pushing the hair in the direction that you want to cut in. And now I'm using the Oster. Octanes. These are detachable clippers by Oster. And we're just pushing through in a combing like motion to make sure the hair is at the desired length. Coming to the other side, just showing that you go right through the parietal ridge. And it's going to make sure his hair is at the desired length. Now, right here in the back, you got to be careful because if you go in the wrong direction, you'll have a patch back side of your client's head and you do not want to do that so you be careful right around those swirly areas or what you would call a cowlick now I'm taking my trimmers and I'm creating the first guideline a bit of a contoured line as you can see it goes with the shape of his head and then in a flick it out motion cleaning up all of the hair I'm spinning them around to the other side and what's important is he's in the front of the mirror so I create a straight guideline on both sides because that's going to determine how even that fade comes out to be when you're looking directly at him adjustable FX clippers I'm creating a half an inch guideline just above the first guideline we created with the trimmers we're not making a strong indentation it's just up a half an inch all the way around the bottom portion of the first guideline. And 
Here's where you're starting to see the fade kind of come into play now. If you notice, I keep his head at an angle because just where that bone is in that parietal ridge, you just want to go up in a C-like motion. And you'll be just attacking that bottom line. corner of the clippers and I'm going to speed this portion up just a little bit because I'm going around this entire head but you'll get the gist of it all side and we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side of his head same thing attacking that bottom guideline you'll start to see the hair kind of come out now you don't want to pivot the clippers too much where you're going directly at his head or your client's head start to look a little bit jagged within that fade you just want to take small strokes up it can be a little faster it can be slower but you they want to be small strokes just like that you'll start to see the fade come together the back part of the head is where you kind of match up both sides of that fade and it's a bit of a guideline for yourself to see Now we put the one and a half guard on. And we're making up some space here. We're going into the second guideline. This isn't really the clean up portion. This is just the part to take out that second guideline and go up just at the parietal ridge. And then you come down a notch, you have the one guard exact same thing notice I'm using the corners of the clippers because we're not trying to go directly at the guideline to make it uneven we're going at angles just keep angling your clippers Now I'm going to do a, some corner work with the clippers. I'm just kind of playing with the lever. Adjusting and unadjusting, readjusting. Because we're just kind of eyeballing the fade at this point because it's going to start to come together. You'll even see me use the corners in the front portion of his edge because that's a real important part. don't want to take too much out of the edge you don't want to take too much away from the front part of his head because this is a contour fade and I keep brushing I keep controlling his hair in the direction that I want him to go into the clip now you see how I have the one guard and I just keep working the fade all the way around side of the hair where we make the fade match up to the opposite side so that when he looks in the mirror or someone looks directly at him you will see how clean that fade is from the front side and make sure you are paying attention to this part because it is very very important especially on the back side of someone's head 
they might not be able to see it, but this is the part where people see it and they're like, okay, this fade is really, really clean, and I need one of those. So while you're watching, again, it's in the top Instagram, K L A S S I X underscore C O. Make sure you're following, making sure you're liking, making sure you're subscribing. Because we're going to be bringing you a lot of tutorials. We're bringing you a lot of quick videos. We got a lot of music. And a lot of other things for you to enjoy. Just make sure you're locked into our page. Those corner methods to knock out that first to second guideline. Where I made the first indentation with the trimmers, I have my wall seniors with a ceramic blade and a fade blade at the top so we get the lowest point of that fade. This is where you start to see that guideline completely disappear, especially if you made a harsh, harsh guideline. Now, for beginners or intermediates, be careful as to how you make that first guideline. You don't have the tools to knock that guideline out. You're gonna have somebody walking around with a line in a fade. And guess what? At that point, it's not a fade. So you have, you know, a tool like this, you know, a really, really strong clipper to knock out that very bottom guideline. And I'm just playing with the clipper up, down, up, down to ensure that we knock that line out of there. And it's a very delicate process where you just going through kind of using your eye and then you're brushing you're cutting you're brushing you're cutting you're readjusting your clippers and we tilted his head to the right so that again we're going up against the angle of his head but we're knocking out that very bottom guideline when you back up from this fade or you see this fade from a distance really really clean finish and having the proper tools to get that or achieve this look is priority number one because I want you to get a real close-up angle as to how you look now when you cut it you're gonna back up look at it I don't know if you notice all I have is about two or three fingers on the clipper and we're just bouncing the clipper through that fade just bouncing it kind of bouncing it all the way through because the hair or you control it and comb it it'll just drop right back into that clipper now we're going over into the beard side of it we're trying to get this portion correct because a nice blend on the beard going with a nice blend in the haircut it's a really strong finish and these are some of the best haircuts that you can get a fade and beard combination it's a really strong look So it's really, really important that you just maintain the corners of those clippers. You're just readjusting your clip with low, high, low, high brush. Kind of come down, grab some of that longer hair, and you'll just start to see the fade come up more. First side of this fade, notice again I'm using the corners. We're just kind of blending everything together. Just so that it has a nice flush look from top to bottom. And I'm gonna just speed through this little portion of it. Because we'll have other videos on beard fading, beard sculpting. Uh, but this one is mainly about this skin fade. So just keep watching and I just, you know, I obviously had to complete the entire haircut. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit, but we'll get to the end shortly. If you notice 
the, the techniques where I'm kind of pulling this in to stretch that fade out a little bit on the beard. That's how that works to get those hairs to fall right in there because those are really fine hairs. Now I'm taking a little bit of mousse after we complete the fade and I'm running it through his hair just to make sure the hair is laying down. And I'm going to blow dry it and brush it at the same time so that it dries and it brushes flat. This is how you prepare his hair to get it all edged up. This is the part of the haircut where it's, we almost done with it, but it's just enough so that we can get the hair laying flat. right through there take a little bit of alcohol to make sure the skin is dry and now I'm gonna moisturize his beard with classics beard oil it's a premium blend that we use on most everybody's beard you should look on our website because we do sell it definitely a premium blend that's designed to soften the beard talk about that another time now we're just gonna edge it up make sure we're using the outermost points of that of his hair to make sure we're not pushing his edge back at all cleaning up the beard a little bit cleaning up the mustache because we're getting it all prepared we're gonna jump ahead a step to the finish look if you make sure you're subscribing to Classics Barber and Company because we'll have videos on applying color and enhancements and everything like that but again this was a show you how to fade video just keep watching it's the full length tutorial of the haircut I hope you're enjoying it so far right now I'm just kind of making going through to make sure that those enhancements that were applied pop out use the razor to kind of bring everything back in make sure everything's in line i hope you enjoying it so far uh, we got a lot coming for our page this is one of the many full length tutorials that we'll be doing um, and just look at it man this is this is how a skin fade looks from top to bottom getting it all edged up making sure it's tight so that when your client walks out somebody says where did you get your haircut that's what we're trying to go for bring in more clients to bring in more people um, again follow the journey man it's classics barber and company we on instagram classics underscore co stay updated with all the things that we've got going on right now i'm just going through doing a bunch of touch-up work making sure you know everything's even for them to leave you know love the haircut keep watching keep subscribing got really really close I don't know if you noticed how we shot in long frame format but we got up close so that you can see this thing real close real solid and we hoping you enjoying it these are just the finishing touches of you know what a skin fade should come out to be now I'm taking the electric shaver and kind of cleaning up all the way at the bottom side of his head so that it's a really really clean finish and as you can see the fade starts to come together really really nice excuse the blurriness but man, we make it do what it do i hope you get the gist again whether you like it 
comment, do whatever you gotta do. We're gonna be here to give you more. We're getting better along the way. We're just making it pop so that we can get this hair cut up on mine. Make sure Rod likes his whole entire cut. Again, I appreciate you if you made it this far for watching the video with us. Watch us do this full length tutorial. Like in the beats, go and follow K6 on it on Instagram. I make those beats as well. So I have a music page, I have an Instagram page. Um, it's just full of music, haircuts, and everything, guys. Just stay locked in with us. So we're putting a bit of the finishing touches on there. We're doing a little bit of corner work with the clippers and knocking out those small micro hairs right at the tips of the beard and kind of blending that fade together. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. Kind of brushing in some of that color, just kind of blending that out, putting the razor work on there. But we got a lot more videos coming. We got a lot more stuff coming for YouTube. This is one of the many to reboot to come back and kind of give you a gist of how we do it at classics barbering company again make sure you liking make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment and just come on this journey with us man and uh we definitely gonna keep you up to date with what we got going on i hope you are really enjoying it thank you again i can't thank you enough whether you're liking loving commenting everything stay on board with us and we're gonna give you a lot more content in the near future we're gonna try to do weekly we're gonna try to do you know it definitely won't go months it's gonna be weekly stuff going on so stay locked in with us we appreciate you for sure here's a little bit of the profile of that haircut that fade is really really clean it really don't get no cleaner than that man a little bit of that razor work on there Got him blowing it up, stretching the cheek out. You got some comments on some of the qu equipment we using? Make sure you drop it in the comment box. You got comments on anything? Hey, I try to respond to everybody. So just stay locked with us. This is Classics Barbering Company. I hope to see you on Instagram. I hope to see you on here on YouTube. Any one of those platforms. Stay tuned for a little message. Go ahead, nigga. Pride of you grinding. You elevate. You know? Yeah. Then relax, bro. It's alright. Everything gonna fall right in line, huh? You got you be alright. Glad you can join us today. Make sure you like and subscribe and come and all of that. So we can keep bringing you more videos, more content. Shit, just be more motivated. We here. Cool love, thank you, you local. Come on, homie. We made you. Glad to be here. Hey. Um, stay right there. We'll be right back.